Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mark again. How y'all doing? I am really thrilled today to talk to you about a very sad subject, but with good news. <laughs> and, and that is Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's disease and dementia, which is really ravaging our global population, not just here. Uh, so we're going to talk about Alzheimer's. We're going to talk about reversing Alzheimer's. Is that possible? Well, you'll find out. Uh, and we're going to talk about survivors of Alzheimer's, which, hmm, is there ever such a thing? We've known cancer survivors, but has anybody met an Alzheimer's survivor? Well, they exist, and we're going to talk about why and how to think about this whole problem of dementia and loss of cognitive function in a very different way. Way. And I'm thrilled to have my friend and colleague and incredible scientist join me today, my friend Dr. Dale Bredesen, who I've known for a long time, who's inspired me, and who is just such an amazing guy. He's recognized as an expert in the field of the mechanisms of neurodegenerative disease. He studied the science behind all the stuff in functional medicine and came to the same place that I did when I wrote my book, Ultra Mind Solution, where he found that the scientific world was merging with the functional medicine world to come up with the same discoveries that we could literally change the course of our brain's decline by doing some specific things. And we're going to learn what those are. So Dr. Bredesen, um, he's written multiple New York Times bestsellers, uh, including The End of Alzheimer's, a uh, very provocative title, The End of Alzheimer's Program, and his latest book, The First survivors of Alzheimer's, how patients recover life and hope in their own words. Uh, he's a faculty in the past at UCLA, I'm uh, sorry, UCLA, at the University of San Francisco, University of California, San Francisco, San Diego. He's directed the program on aging at the Buck Institute before coming to the Buck Institute on uh, the research on aging in 1998 as its co-founder uh, and president and CEO. He's currently a professor at UCLA. Um, that's why I made a mistake. He was the director of the program on aging at Burnham Institute. I thought I got that confused with the Buck Institute. Anyway, we're going to get him on. Uh, let's see if I can get him on uh, and if I can find him. Um, and then, no. Okay, let me try Dr. Dale Bredesen. Dr. Dale Bredesen. Here we go. I'm going to send and invite him and see if he shows up. Uh, this is always the most anxiety provoking part of it. Um, wow, people from Mauritius. Wow, that's amazing. Hello from Cleveland. We love you. San Francisco, India, everywhere. Oh my God. Kelowna. Oh, I, I've been in Kelowna. They have great. They have, oh, oops, sorry about that. They have great um, uh, cherries they grow there. It's fabulous cherries. Uh, I love cherries. And. Uh, uh, they have really delicious cherries. So let me see if I can uh, get Dale on. Let me see. Dale coming. Let's see. Dr. Dale. I'll try again. Dr. Dale. Sometimes it's hard with these Instagram lives, but we'll get there. Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Dr. Dale, where are you? Come. Oh, from Jakarta. Wow. Amazing. Jakarta. I'm doing good. Thank you, Marie. Uh, hello from Colorado. Katie. All right. I feel like people. Uh, um, amazing to me, this whole Instagram thing and how people from all over the world are just sort of on it. Um, let me, give me a second. Let me see if I can get Dale. I'm not coming on. Okay, let me see if we'll try again. Maybe he's here now. Dr. Dale invites. No, we have requests, but uh, I'm not going to invite you because it's not for you. But uh, let me just try again. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try again. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's just hopefully. Do this. But anyway, Dale's work's amazing. You know, I, I'll just talk for a little bit and see if we can come on. Uh, but, you know, I, I started uh, you know, tr thinking about the brain and functional medicine a long, long time ago. One, because uh, when I had chronic fatigue syndrome, I felt like I had dementia, depression, and ADD all at once, which was really pretty bad. Uh, and my brain was broken from mercury poisoning. And I, did, I definitely felt like I had dementia. I couldn't even remember where I was at the end of a sentence from where I started. 
So um, I wrote this book after applying the concepts of functional medicine to people with brain disorders uh, and, and seeing remarkable results. I wrote the Ultra Mind Solution. And in it, I describe a functional medicine approach to dealing with the root causes of a disordered brain function. And we created the Broken Brain documentary series as well, which I encourage you to check out. You can go on Dr. Hyman Plus and you can join that and get access to it and lots of other good stuff. Uh, just go to drhyman.com or just Google Dr. Hyman Plus. Um, and, and, and what's really was remarkable to me was I said, look, I'm going to apply the principles of functional medicine to people with dementia or ADD or autism or depression or whatever it was. I don't know if I, I'm going to do any good. I don't know if it's going to work. And the things I'm recommending are not harmful, right? They're lifestyle, diet, dietary change, exercise, sleep, uh, dealing with stress, some basic correction of imbalances in the body, nutritional stuff, dealing with the gut, sometimes detoxification. And people started getting better, and I was just shocked. I literally was shocked. I was like, how could this be? I learned this is not possible with traditional medicine. And so that's when I began to sort of really wake up to the idea that, that the brain was incredibly fixable, that, that if we applied the science of um, systems biology and understanding the ways to create a healthy brain, that we could really transform people's lives and, and even reverse dimension. I remember the first patient I had, where I did this, I was sort of shocked because he had full-blown dementia, was diagnosed. Uh, but when I started digging under the hood, he had really bad mercury poisoning, really bad. And uh, we, over a period of time, we chelated him and we detoxified him and we optimized all his systems. He had gut issues, he had nutritional deficiencies, he had prediabetes, he had heavy metals, he had all this stuff. And we dealt with everything. And he recovered and, uh, you know, he didn't get back to his original state, but he was pretty close to go back to work and was functioning and happy, which is pretty amazing. So I feel like we're, we're really um, in, a, in a tremendously exciting time in medicine right now because we can start to begin to deal with these issues quite differently. And, and Dale has been really the leader in helping us, uh, um, in helping us to actually um, get get a different view of this. And I, I just I hope we can get on because, you know, I mean, the thing about Alzheimer's survivors, like that's just not a thing, right? <laughs> Have you ever met one? No. So uh, he, his book is really about that. Um, one second, I'm gonna just deal with the technical stuff. Um, and so I'm just sending another invite to him. Mm. Oh, you're in the gym, that's good. Peanut butter and jellyfish. <laughs> That's <laughs> gotta can't be your name. I hope. Um, all right. Here, Dale. There you go again, Dale. I think all you have to do is accept the invitation. I don't know if it's not working. You might have to upgrade your Instagram on your phone, or maybe you can shut it down and start again. Try again, and if not, uh, we'll go off. I'll um, uh, maybe restart this again. Um, but it's been fun talking to you. <laughs> and I encourage you to get his book, which is uh, really, uh, all of his books, The End of Alzheimer's, The End of Alzheimer's Program, the, the new one, which is the first um, survivors of Alzheimer's, the first survivors of Alzheimer's, uh, How Patients Recovered Life and Hope in Their Own Words. It's out, uh, get a copy. Uh, and and I, I think um, his research is there. It's not, it's just, this is not just a, sort of a, fringe idea. There's, a, there's increasingly good research around this. And we, there was a guy named Dr. Richard Isaacson who's done similar research at, I think he's at Cornell or maybe or New York, somewhere in New York. And, uh, and he did a credible trial looking at a personalized approach to correcting the imbalances that were causing Alzheimer's. And he was incredibly successful with his study. And we had him do grand rounds at Cleveland Clinic recently. And he was you know, so positive about how we can impact the course. And he thought, oh, maybe we'll just slow it down. Maybe we'll just sort of flatten the curve so we won't get a decline. But in his study, he found the opposite. He found that actually people got better. They reversed memory loss, which has never been documented before, except in a trial called the Finger Trial. That was aggressive lifestyle and risk factor intervention. So let me see, where is Dale? Let me try one more time. And if not, I would just encourage you to buy his book and I will find another time to get Dale on because he's such a good, good guy. Okay, Dale, are you there? Um, I am going to keep trying. Mm. Mm. Okay, and uh, maybe, I don't know if you have any technical help, but it's 
hard. Instagram Live is not the easiest thing. <laughs> so, but it's fun when it works. Um, gosh, hello from Montreal, from Dallas, from Kelowna, from Costa Rica. Okay. Um, all these wonderful places. Colombia, Pakistan. Wow. New York City. Okay. Big Apple, Georgia. Mm. France. Okay, that's in my time zone. <laughs> I'm in Spain. All right. Well, uh, Dale, I love you, and I hope you are um, you are able to witness this. And uh Again. Try again, Dale. See if it works. Hey. Mark. I can't believe it. Uh, Dale, your face is yeah. your face is a little <laughs> cut off from getting in the middle. Okay. There you go. Great to see you, buddy. I, I'm really so yeah, excited to have that. this conversation with you. Great um, to see you. So we're gonna we're we I'm, I covered a lot already. I'm as, just you, as you probably heard. I'm just seeing the thing come across the screen, Mark, that says that you are a Greek god. So I think that's a that's a great way oh, to start. Shoot. No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm just a mortal, a, poor, a, a mere mortal. I'm Jewish, so I'm definitely a <laughs> Greek. <And> so, uh, <laughs> so Dale, I, you know, I think I think we're gonna have to do this in two parts. Um, yeah. I um, and and I think um, I did a lot of background, uh, but I, I want to get into this with you. I have about 15 minutes or so. Uh, yeah. And I'd like, to, I'd like to do a much longer conversation because of the technical stuff. But, but basically, I, I gave a lot of the background. And, and your work is just so, is so groundbreaking. And I'd love you to share a little bit about um, the, the sort of uh, the global threat of Alzheimer's, you know, yeah. why it's such a big problem and, and why mainstream medicine has got it so wrong into teaching us that it, maybe we can create a drug that will stall it, but we're really not going to reverse it or treat it in the way that we're doing. And all of this is being challenged by your work. So can you share how, how you've come to this and what you've learned? Yeah, so we spent 30 years in the laboratory looking at the basic mechanisms of neurodegeneration. You know, why do you get Alzheimer's? It's now the third leading cause of death in the United States, number two in the UK. And of course, the big issue is we're all concerned about, is it going to have a bump now because of COVID-19 and the brain fog that so many people have had? So what we found over the 30 years in the lab is that there are multiple factors. So we always tell the patients, imagine you have a roof with 36 holes, and this is very much yeah. up your alley. It's functional medicine looking at the upstream causes. People had not been doing that. But when you actually do that, we just posted our trial. Uh, so you can see it on MedArchive. It's publicly available. 84% um, of the people actually improved their scores. Not only did they improve their scores on cognition, cognitive tests, they actually improved their MRIs. So they increased their gray matter volume and their hippocampal volume, which actually goes down a little in a normal person, went down less than a normal person. A person who has Alzheimer's, it goes down very rapidly, of course. So the, the MRIs don't lie. These are striking results wow. that really haven't been seen before. Yeah, and so in these people, we looked at their ongoing inflammatory status, at their pathogens, at their toxins, at their mitochondrial function, at their gut leakiness, at their, we looked at their stress levels. We looked at all those things that you look at, but we looked at this with respect to what is it doing to your cognition? And when you identify those for each person and you address those for each person, people get better. And that's why I wrote this book, the first survivors of Alzheimer's, seven people Holy talk cow. about their own stories. Holy cow, so Dale. This is, uh, I just, this I, is not I, I voodoo. Just, wait, I just want to pause because you just said something that is, is like the discovery of the atom. Like, you, you know, and it should be on the front page of every newspaper, every medical journal, and that's that 
of the patients you treated had improvements on their neurocognitive testing, which is very extensive testing where they check people's memory. Right. That's really impressive. That doesn't happen. Yep. In fact, right. it's only a one-way street for most people. Not, not right. only do they not get better, they get progressively worse. Right. And secondly, you said that their MRIs got better. And what you also yes. said was that the MRIs showed a less decline, lower, le, le, lower rate of decline than ordinary people who don't have Alzheimer's. Like, exactly. I didn't want people that's to lose really that, that nugget because it's such a nugget that you shared. And if that's true, like if, if there is any evidence that that's true, there should be billions and billions of dollars going into research to look at this. So why, why can't we right. get that to happen? Well, the answer is $500 billion. That's what the drug uh, aduhelm, aducanumab, which was just approved on June 7th, is likely to bring in as an Alzheimer's drug. It does not make people better, as you know. It does not stabilize them. In one trial only, one trial it did nothing, one trial only at one dose only, it slowed the decline by 22%. But associated with that are side effects brain hemorrhage in 17 percent oh. brain swelling in 40 percent so yeah, yeah. It, you know and it's again, a little brain bleed and swelling medicine. in the brain you know? <laughs> yeah and and it's a, and, and it's a hundred thousand dollars per year to have this drug oh that so it's yeah a bar, it's a bargain that's where right for brain hemorrhage and <laughs> <laughs> exactly okay. so, exactly so, so as you know we can all do better and actually you know you're the one who came out with yeah. the first book about this way back in two 2007, saying, hey, if you address yeah. these things, you can actually see people turn yeah. around. And interesting, came to this. Mm -hmm. Cut out a little bit. I hope I'm not cutting out. Hopefully, I'll come back on. Uh, I'm going to share this. Don't worry. I'm going to save it and share this video. <laughs> Don't worry. Hi from Scotland, Sandra. Gosh, Dale, I think you're you're not um, you're cutting out. I don't know if it's your line or service or whatever, but it's the oh, you you were you were cutting out there, Dale. Are you are you have good are you have a good Wi-Fi connection where you are? A good cell service? All right. I'm 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 sort of you're chopping cutting out a little bit. Ah, the wonders of live. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Your still video is not great, but I can hear you. So um, go on with what you're saying. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hello, Dale. Oh my so gosh, critical. Dale. Oh, there you are. There you are. Can you hear me? So Dale, you know, your work has been so important. I don't know what's going on with the video because yours is, so oh, there you are, now you're back. Okay, so I don't know if your Wi-Fi is bad or your cell service is bad, but you're cutting out a lot. Do, do you have a better connection? Okay, well, people are wondering how he got the results. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just gonna chat for a bit because he's still spinning. Uh, the book is The First Survivors of Alzheimer's. So that should tell you a lot. Uh, and, and the program that Dale has created is really der derived out of functional medicine. Are you, are you back, Dale? Can you hear me? No, not really. Okay. Anyway, it's, it's really a comprehensive look at nutrition, at the microbiome, at hidden infections. Can you hear me? Okay. At insulin resistance and prediabetes. Yeah, no, you're coming in out, Dale, pretty bad. I don't know what the connection is over there. I'm in, I'm in Spain. My, my Wi-Fi is really good. <laughs> um, and so Dale's used a lot of different modalities to, to, to look at all the various problems that can happen that cause somebody to be out of balance or not healthy. And correcting all those things is, is pretty straightforward. It's a lot of work. But it's pretty straightforward once you start to identify the right the right things, and it's just that traditional medicine not looking in the right places for solutions. And the book is the first survivors of Alzheimer's. I'm going to save this video, so you're all going to get it. Dale, are you back? Are you there? 
Okay, let me I'm trying to get this fixed. Oh, the wonders of technology. Yeah, can you uh, hear me? Dale, yeah, are you, you there? I can, but you're, you're, yeah, I can hear you. I can't really see you. And it's in and out. It's, can you go to a place with better service for yourself? Hello? Oh, well, um, <laughs> this has been fun. <laughs> um, you know, Dale, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just uh, maybe figure out a way we can get um, a better, a better connection and do this again, because I really want to go through this and we'll have time. It's not a big deal. But I, I um, I'm just so excited about Dale's work. I think, you know, everybody should check it out. If you are at all concerned about your brain and want to learn how to help your brain over your lifetime, then get Dale's book, get the end of Alzheimer's, the end of Alzheimer's program and the first survivors of Alzheimer's. They're all powerful, um, you know, uh, powerful books about this problem. And it's not just the book. He's not doing the research. He's doing the hardcore research uh, behind the ideas in the book. So there's not just um, anecdotal evidence. There's, there's real evidence that's coming. So I'm super excited about what he's doing. Dale, are you there? Are you back? No. Okay. Well, Dale, uh, I love you and I love all of you. And I'm going to say this video despite <laughs> it was so weird. And hopefully you'll go get his book and learn more about it. And, uh, and we'll have Dale back on. We can get really good connection.